to another video. I um, have been getting a couple of requests on my TikTok. Um, if you don't follow me on TikTok, the link to that is down below. But uh, people have been asking me for a makeup tutorial, and I've already done a makeup tutorial on this channel before, but I did it eight months ago. Like, as I'm recording this, it was eight months ago. Um, and that, I've um, changed quite a bit about the way that I do my makeup, mainly like um, my base makeup and my nose contour. Um, and then my boyfriend did my makeup a couple weeks ago, but that doesn't really count. Uh, so I wanted to do another makeup tutorial for you guys today. Um, so we're gonna head over to Blank Face Elena and I'll see you later. Uh, welcome back to my bathroom. Sorry that there's, that's probably either foundation or contour on this. Um, but yeah, welcome to the 2023 Cat Loafing Makeup Tutorial. Um, let's get started. I use the, uh, the Tarte Shape Tape as my concealer. And I put it there and there and in my corners and do this V shape on the outside of my eye and then I cover up any current acne that I have. I also kind of want to put some right there. And then I'm going to take a beauty blender and blend all this out. came from. I think I used to use um, a Milani bronzer. I don't remember which one, but it was a circle one. And this brush came with that. But I love this brush, so I continue to use it. And I just go into the hollows of my cheeks, under my chin. Get it really good under my chin because I tend to blend that away too much so I put extra there. And then a little across my forehead right on my hairline. There we go. And then I'm using um, a Morphe see that but that is um, M406 to blend this out and then I'm using um, the Morphe James Charles palette that looks like it's been through hell and back because I've had it for a really long time. Um, I'm gonna replace it soon, probably, because um, you can very much tell which shades that I use. And I use no other shades. So I'm looking for a replacement that has similar shades to like this one and this one. Nor that I have no nails, I'm going in between nails. Uh, but what I do is I, this is an, e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Um, 
and I just use this one and that one for pretty much all the eyeshadow I'm going to use. I just take a little bit of that one and a little bit of this one and go on my cheeks. And it looks like a lot right now, but it's really not gonna look like a lot when I'm done. This is a very trust the process makeup. Also, I'm sorry about my bird if you can hear that. And then we're gonna put some on the nose. And then we're gonna use a, let's see, this is an e.l.f. Fluffy Eye Blender Brush. And we're gonna use the same shades. And I go under my eyes and then I go from the corner and blend it out to look like that. It looks a lot better in person than it does on camera for some reason, but I feel like everybody says that because it's an excuse. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the same. And you know, because I'm left handed, one of them always comes out better than the other. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the white on here and put it closer to my corner on the lid and then also on my corner. And then I'm going to take that same pink mixture and put a little on my nose and blend it out. And now that, this looks a little crazy, but it's so that whenever I do all my nose contour, you can still see a little bit of the blush through. But um, now we're gonna do the nose contour, which um, I use this brush, and this brush was just like from a Amazon eyeshadow brush kit. Um, don't know if I could still find it, but if I do find it, I will put it in the, the links below, but we're gonna go back in with the same Anastasia bronzer. Get a little bit and go underneath my little, the tip of my nose. There we go. And then we're gonna go across anyway and then I'm gonna go from the middle of this line we just created and just make kind of a triangle shape and it doesn't really matter if it's messy because I'm gonna clean it up in a second and then I just build this in with bronzer and then kind of blend it out with my finger to the concealer. I use a very specific brush that I kind of don't care about. And just get a tiny little bit on here. And I do. And then I make like a triangle. and my fingers and all that. Did I 
blend this out. Sometimes I forget to blend my forehead out because it gets covered up by my hair so I don't really notice it. And then also there's a lot of other stuff going on. So that kind of gets put on the back burner. Um, and then a little touch that I like to do is I use the ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow. Try saying that three times fast, oh my god. Um, and this is in the shade Ice Dream. Literally, it's so gorgeous. Look, look at that, look at that on camera. I just hope that someday someone would love me. And I just wipe that on with my finger. Wow, so shiny. Um, and then, ignore how crusty it is. I literally have said that like four times, but the Epic Wear Waterproof NYX Eyeliner, uh, the white one, this is what I use for my inner corners. And I just kind of make the brush be like, like that. And then I carefully Sephora liquid liner and what I do is I make that kind of shape on both sides. drag it down and fill it in. Yeah. And of course this side is not going to cooperate as well. This kind of going. Um, I have this line on my eye and I kind of like to follow that. Too. 
I use L'Oreal telescopic um, mascara and I put it on my top and bottom lashes because my lashes are blonde and if I don't and I put lashes on top of them they're visible so I just kind of rub it around on my bottom lashes excuse me for my face right now and honestly if you get a little on your lower lash line it does not matter that much it just makes it look a little bit more grungy I'm using the same lashes that I used in my first makeup tutorial I'll put a link um, in the description they're from Amazon they're um, basically what I searched up is um, wispy lashes they're wispy apparently um, and I'm gonna go pop those on really quick so I'm gonna I also used this glue with the it's the kiss glue with the aloe vera in it um, but now I'm gonna go in with the morphe setting spray the only reason that I use this setting spray is because the consistent wonderful mist but as a setting spray it does not honestly work too great in my opinion I used to use the um, the Urban Decay one the all-night one uh, the one that everybody uses um, and I kind of liked that a lot better the only reason that I stick with this one is because I like the mist but anyway I use the Too Faced Love and Light Highlighter, um, and again, from my Amazon brush pack, I'm using just like an angled brush like this, you know, it's like, and it's angled, and I'm just gonna dab a little bit on there, maybe more, there we go, and then I'm gonna do it underneath my eyebrows and use my finger and yeah. Exactly like that. Now I'm gonna go back in with my setting spray. And now we're done. If you were wondering, um about my body shimmer that I use a lot. I use uh, this one. It's called uh, Moon Smut. It's a face and body shimmer. Uh, and I just take the little pad and I just kind of wipe it everywhere because I like to sparkle. And it gives a nice little sparkle. I don't know if anybody actually can see that on camera, but I'll show you anyway. And then all that's left to do is my hair, so because, you know, YouTube. Um, <laughs> that's my goal right now is a thousand. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.